Stacy Burke here. Just got done with work, did a grocery haul that'll be up next week. Uh, I just wanted to come on here and tell you like a little story that happened at work. Now, before I get into this, remember, I do donate to the homeless all the time. I give to uh, the church. I give to uh, homeless shelters. I give to organizations. Now, working at a laundromat, we get a lot of homeless that come in, obviously. They uh, they, seek, they seek shelter. They use our bathrooms. They'll use our Wi-Fi. They'll wash our, their clothes. They'll use the, the bathroom to clean up. You know, all kinds of stuff. And I'm very sympathetic to that. But the reason I don't give anything away to them there is because then they'll come to the business more and more. Because I'm kind of conflicted I'm on the fence sorry whenever I lay down my nose starts to get stuffy I get on the fence on this because I do sympathize with them and I do like to give to the homeless however I give to organizations that help the homeless I don't give straight to the homeless because um, I I don't want to encourage them to come to my job because there are some dangerous ones. There are some that are kind of crazy. There are some that, um, you know, are mentally ill, sorry. Well, this depends. Like, some are mentally ill and some are just, like, this, you know, like, I'm crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a crazy. So, it's like, there's some really, probably they're really mentally ill. And there's some that are just crazy because they're just, uh, I hate to say entitled, but some of them, they, they don't. The reason some of them are homeless is because they don't want schedules and they just are rebels and, you know, or whatever the reason. Some of them are real legit, like um, they have hardships. Some of them are, could be vets. Everyone has a different story of why they're homeless or why they're going through stuff like that. Some Sometimes it's drug problems, sometimes it's substance abuse, you name it. I get that. But there's also dangerous ones out there and you never know. And also for a business standpoint... You got to understand that we can't, I, we can't have them coming because some of those little old ladies are doing their laundry or like if they solicit some of our, our um, customers for money, it's just not good for business. It just isn't. So it's like I do understand businesses when they shoe the homeless way. I hate to say it, but I do understand because um, it is bad for business. It's bad for business. It's like, you know. Sometimes they make a lot of mess, you know. <laughs> it's like I had to scold a few of them. They're like almost like my children, some of these homeless people. Like you got to scold them. You got to tell them because some of them are the reasons they are homeless because they just can't. They don't want to follow direction. They think that they just could do whatever. and um, Or they're upset with something or I don't know, whatever the reason. So that is why when I donate, I don't donate straight to the homeless unless I'm walking somewhere else. I'm off of work, out, you know, somewhere not around my home or where I work, I hate to say it, I will probably, if I have something to donate, I will. But I try to encourage the homeless to go to the shelters, go to uh, the churches, and go to the places that I donate. I rather, I tell them, I go, look, I just donated, you go there, you know, and get your stuff, you know. And today, when I opened uh, this morning, uh, usually there's no one there, but there was this lady who was camped out. She literally made a bedroom out of my not where I work. She had a sleeping bag. She had pillows. She had stuff all over. She admitted that she peed in her trash can because there was no bathroom because we lock up everything, you know, if no one's there. And I just... I kind of lost it. I go, look, you can't do that. She goes, where do you think I should go pee? I go, in the bushes or go to the drugstore next door. They have a bathroom you could use. There's there's places. You don't need to uh, make a mess. And and she she made a mess. And I and she would not leave. And I had to, I hate to say, but I had to call the cops. It was, it was not a good scene. And I ran into that quite often. I ran into one that was kind of violent. He looked like he just broke his arm. He had this thing on his wrist that he just came out of the hospital. I don't know for what. And so, and the cops are so 
bombarded with these cops. And so I try not to call the cops. And if I do call, I try to call the non-emergency number, which usually takes forever for the get them. And I know they can't really do anything, but it's the only thing I could try to scare them away. However, it doesn't really scare them away because they're used to it. They'll just get a ticket or they just shoo them off. But there has been a few that have been dangerous that the cops did come and take away because they were combative or, it, you know, they stole. One time they st I had laundry. I think you'll see in one of my videos that I posted a long time ago, I had my laundry stolen. And they were, they were, real, they were my best clothes that I'd wear every day. And my husband's clothes were stole, stolen and stuff like that. So, you know, you never know. And then when... You're you're out of business. That you're out your work, and you're by yourself, and you confront them, and they 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 argue with you, and they get uh, confrontational. You never know, and so then I have I have to be tough. I have to be a bitch to a lot of them because I don't want to encourage them to come in because literally she made a camp out of it, and people come in to do that lawn their laundry we have customers we have older people we have and that could frighten somebody you know and it's just not good and plus if she makes a mess this, these are people doing laundry to clean their clothes they don't want to put clean clothes on top of dirty messes you know so i had to get really hard with her i i had to get hard with a lot of people because uh if now if they come in and they do their laundry and all they 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 use the bathroom and they don't loiter in the bathroom too much because then you get the ones that they stay in the bathroom for so long and other people have to use it or if they're not even doing laundry and I got to tell them like look you got you know you, you got to be a customer here like in other words they have to follow the rules just like everyone else as soon as they start taking advantage or they scaring off the, the our customers or soliciting for money or making messes or sleeping there or try to make it or just using our Wi-Fi or plugging in their phones I'll tolerate for a little bit but if they take advantage I will speak up and I have to be very rude and abrupt with them and if they ask for handouts I always say why well, just donate the church is like literally two blocks down the street they're open I just made uh, I just made um, a donation I know they have it you go there because that's what it's for. And so I always try to encourage that. But today it was just like, oh my God. I had to call 911 because she was not leaving. She kept giving me excuses. And then she told me she peed in our trash cans. And I'm like, what? I mean, at least she told me. But I'm like, what? So I had to clean that mess. And luckily the cops did come. But of course when the cops came, she was already gone. And I gave them a description. And I know they can't really do anything. But I had to give him a description and just in case she did do something later down the road, you know, like somewhere else, that at least they, they, they knew that she was a troublemaker or something like that. And I could tell she's a tweaker. And I know it, you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. And usually I don't. But you know that look. You know they, they got into the meth or they got into something because they, is this a look they have, you know, where they look. They look like they're a hundred, and you know they're probably thirty, <laughs> and and then they just they, they they don't stop talking. They don't they don't listen, or it's just like. And I've had had like uh, ones that I got really scared of. It's one guy that would not leave and kept flipping me off and and saying, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, sure you're gonna call the cops. I don't believe you. I don't believe you exist. I'm undercover." And you could tell he's like crazy because he's telling me he's undercover and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like. Oh, great. I'm by myself. The cops are taking forever. <laughs> you know, and it's like, you never know. You never know. So you got to treat them all like, you know, like a potential threat. And it's sad to say. And, and uh, but I just want to make this video because it's like, I do have this conflict inside of me that I feel bad for snapping at them. But you never know. You got to be, it's almost like tough love. You got to be tough because they got to know that they can't come into that business and do that. I mean, there are some homeless people that come in and they're very respectful. They'll sit down, they'll, they'll read a magazine. They'll talk to me. They'll help me take out the trash. They'll actually, they're actually like good. You know, they pr productive, they help instead of, uh, not help and they they don't stay for long they use the bathroom and they 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 stay for the normal amount of time you know no longer than 10 minutes in the bathroom and they clean up after themselves and they're very respectful and they go and that's and that's fine because that's how that's where everyone is no one should be loitering 
anywhere. Um, like you stay as long as you, you know, for like the length of the time that you're doing your laundry. And then, you know, you can use the Wi-Fi and use the bathroom while you're doing your laundry. But once your laundry's done, you need to go. You need to go. You know, it's not a hotel. It's not like a, nothing like that. And um, it also, it's like sometimes like if they smell, it's like it's kind of a problem. It's sad. But, you know, there's people doing their laundry and they want fresh stuff. You know, they want, you know, like their clean laundry. If they fall on the floor, they, they don't want it to be dirty again. Like it's a business thing. So it is like a conflict in me a lot. And um, I do recommend like if you have a business that, it's best to donate and help the homeless at the establishments that's equipped to handle the homeless because they're, they, they have people that know, you know, if they need medical help or if they need, you know, they just are more equipped to handle them and, um, and stuff. And, and also at the same time, I help out the homeless because there's this homeless guy that my friends like donated a guitar to cause he was robbed and, and, uh, beaten and his stuff was taken and he gets tickets all the time and he and someone stole his guitar and so my neighbor gave him a guitar and so my neighbor was sad because his guitar he donated so I gave my guitar to my neighbor I go well, I got a guitar and so we all pretty much pitch in and help but at the same time I got to be bitchy and I have to be a hard nose to them at work you know it's just that and it's funny because I call the owner and the owner's like, he goes, yeah, I see him on camera. Hopefully they'll leave. Like, no guy's going to come to my rescue. <laughs> Not even the owner. I just, I'm on my own. So it's like I I have the police on speed dial, like the non-emergency number, and then I have to call 911. And that's what I did today. I had to shoo her out, and she kept on giving me excuses. Like, a, And I had to go, look, I don't care what your excuses is. I don't want to hear you. Don't talk. Just grab your stuff and go. Like, literally, I was a bitch. I go, just go. Just get out as fast as you can. She goes, well, I just help her. I go, I don't want to hear anything. Just go. I got to clean up your pee. I got to clean up your mess. Just go. I don't want to have a conversation with you. This is not a conversation. Just go. Took her a while, but she finally left. And luckily, she did kind of clean up. She took the trash bag with her pee in it away. Thank God. And she's a new one, so I haven't seen her because, you, you know, we get to know the homeless around any laundromat, we always get them. It's just the way it is. So, um, and yeah, I have to, if they're in the too much, in, if they're loitering too much in the bathroom, I got to knock on their door and I go, come on, you, you got to, you know, you, you can't stay in there forever. There's customers that are got to go pee, you know, you can't stay in there forever. Do what you got to do and hurry up and please clean up. Please flush because <laughs> then there'll be some that just stuff the toilet paper so much and the toilet overflows it's like having kids sometimes. It's like having kids. You know, and some people absorb the information and some don't. There's some that are really extremely mentally ill. And uh, they usually don't come in because they know that, you know, you never know. Because they're definitely really, they need to take medication. Because I don't know whatever they have or something like that. But it's kind of a scary condition. But anyway, that was my day today. That was the start of it. And I just want to make... This quick video about like, yeah, I do donate the homeless, but at the same time, I have to uh, show some tough love. Some I have to show tough love, and it's like on the fence, and so just the way it is. So don't get mad at businesses that shoo off because there's probably a good reason. Uh, as long as they're nice about it, as long as they're not, you know, there's there's no reason to be mean for no reason. Hopefully, people could judge the dangerous ones to the non-dangerous ones, you know? Um, and then sometimes they could switch. A nice one could turn into a bad one and vice versa. So you just never know. But it's always safe, better safe than sorry. And if you do donate, try to donate to the shelters and to the churches and try to encourage them to go there. Also for their safety as well. Because if they get, if they... It's just best to go somewhere safe for them too, so they could get like the good stuff and and they could get the the attention they they need. They 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 really do need. So I guess that's it. That's all my all my soapbox about um, what happened today and uh, about the homeless. Because there's this other one that's also like a friend and like 
he would come behind the counter like he just thought, oh, he's a friend of mine. I go, no, you can't do that. It's rude because he would just come in like just and I go, no, you got you got to knock like everyone else can't just enter my office because, you know, it's that's just my rule for everyone, for everyone. So I had to like reprimand him, you know, so anyway. to all my stays cadets and all my for cats, <laughs> you know, I hope you have a groovy day. <laughs> Peace.